Well, hello everybody, it's Bella here from Rachel Bella Crafts and it's almost the end of our collaboration. Well, hasn't it been absolutely amazing? So all these lovely crafters have gone on before us. Me today on the 29th and Rachel tomorrow to finish off. What can I say? It's just been absolutely amazing. I have to say that I think this kit that Rachel has uh, created, kits, I think has been the best she's ever made. So I'm not going to say any more because I fill up. So anyway, onwards and upwards. This is what I'm going to finish off uh, with mine. And I'm very honoured that I've been given two places on this uh, collaboration. Thank you, Rachel. And I hope I do her justice. So let me just show you what I have in mind. So I can put that away now. That's that's all finished. Um, I've been making some envelopes using Rachel's envelopes from her kit. I did use die cuts, as you can see, to cut out the shapes. You don't need to see the shapes, you can see them. I've used, this is from my cardstock, because I was thinking that somebody may just want to make something that isn't related to the um, the kits or they haven't ha been using the kits. So I just thought there's another alternative for you to see. This is as far as I've got because I've been waiting for the builders to go all day and it's been thump, thump, thump. So I just got myself organized. So I hope that's okay with you and uh, you won't have to watch me do all this preparation. So everything's inked, everything's ready to go. So I think we'll make a start. So. These are pockets, by the way. These are envelopes and they're pockets and they are what we call coin envelopes, I suppose you call them. And that's that's what I've made with the cardstock. I've got one over here, which is to be done at the end, which I think is going to be really, really lovely. So that will be done at the end. So I'm going to just move these up. I've got all the little bits and pieces ready to um, to add on these. I've decided what I'm doing, so I'm not dithering. Um, it's been a long day because I've been waiting and I've been up very early trying to get organised, but they, they just beat me to it, the uh, builders. Not our builders, they're the next door's builders. So um, there we go. I can't say any more, but I'm hoping now I'm going to get this on straight. I'm gluing this on the back. The only mistake I made... And the other mistake I'm making, I'm doing it on the wrong side, aren't I? But no problem. We'll get into this in a minute. Let me just wipe it off my fingers because I don't want it. Um, I'll get my head in gear in a moment. But never mind. Never mind. We'll manage. Just remember to do it on the other side. Don't do what I do. Do as I say. As we used to tell our children. But... Um, that was a faux pas, wasn't it? Then what I do, I was thinking I was doing it the other way around, but no, I'm doing it this way. Now, depending on which way you want the flap to go, so I've got one going that way and one going this way, and I shall decide where she's going to... Now, I've got glue there, so I've... this is the one I must say is the narrowest, I think. But that's okay that's fine that's okay there that's really fine so that's that so now i can make the envelope and um the other thing is i'm not going to seal them up yet because i'm going to cover the back top part there so that i'm just going to cut out a piece of paper to go in there or something because you know i've covered that now so that will be done in a moment so let me just go on and do these in order now so i can, and i've kept, kept everything in order <coughs> excuse me and i got myself really nervous today now because i knew this was the last one and that is the right one isn't it oh that's the very very um smallest one so i've got to go right to the end i think what i'll do i'll just go down this is what i should have done on the other one but i didn't and then i'll go top and bottom sorry i'm off camera now and i'll put that down there turn that over 
and I think we're going that way. So I just want to make sure that's straight. Is she lovely? There we go. I think we've got it. Maybe move it down just a fraction. There we are. She's in. That wasn't too painful, was it? So there we are. That one's done. And I'll put that back over there with, um, with her bits. And what I've done here already, I've actually put some net over the top and I'm taking Andrea's idea. Oh, I've got two. Oh, oh I didn't know that one was there. Oh my gosh, that's nice, isn't it? What do you think? I'm going to use that one. Mm -hmm. Changed my mind, but no problem. So ladies' prerogative, after all said and done. Right, let's get these in. We can do this. I hope you're all well, and I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that has been writing some wonderful comments on my channel. Um because I haven't done many videos because I've been preparing ready for the retreat, which is now on Monday. And actually, today, the day you're watching this, is the day we come home, which is the 29th. So we've actually been there. Obviously, I'm doing this before I've gone to the retreat, but you'll be watching this now as I'm travelling home. So I think that's right. 29th there we go so she's well I rather like her she's lovely now this one I'm just thinking to myself that needs to go in there so I'll do this quickly so that goes down there that goes over there and that's all sealed up because this is the coin envelopes do you know, this collab has been absolutely wonderful. And I want to show you my uh, finished journal at the end of this because I'm really pleased with her. And that's that one done. So that's ready to go, that one. This one now needs this. This will be a bit easier. And what I think I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go round the edge there. And I'm going to glue. Isn't she lovely? She's adorable, isn't she? Now, this is just paper on here. You know, it's quite thin, this paper. So, but this is just me showing you what I'm, I'm making. It's not necessarily. But then when I put some, um, actually, I think that one might be okay. Yes, that one's fine. I don't think I need to do anything to that one except glue this down now. Well, the hot weather has subsided, fortunately, because I think we were all melting. And uh, we're not used to it. You know, you, you, you laugh at us Brits, I know, but it, it's quite painful because we're just not used to it. And um, I've got to think about this now. That's going up there. So I can come down here now and come down here. That's right, isn't it? Yes. There we are. That's that one done. And I just need to ink in there. And I may pop some something there to to hide that, but I thought I'd done this. There we go. So that's that one ready. Isn't she lovely? She's absolutely adorable. I thought I would do some ephemera because I I tell you for why. Um so many of the crafters have made wonderful journals, and I just wanted to um finish off with some ephemera and um you know because we've got to put things in the journals haven't we 
So I'm just thinking to myself, I, I'm not going to make another journal because I've made two. I haven't completed the, um, the second one yet because I've been busy getting ready for the... Oh, isn't she lovely? I don't want her hair. I think I do. Yes, I do. I want her hair because her hair is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. I think that's glued down enough. I've got to make sure it goes down from the top, haven't I? Because I'll be putting things... Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. So now I can glue this one here. No, here. Right, so that's that one. Almost done. And then we'll come to the nice bit in a moment where we jolly them up. <clears throat> I was going to paint this, but because I used paints in my last, uh, the first video, I thought, oh, I, I better not. I don't want to repeat myself. But it would be nice with some, some paint on there, which I could do. Have I done this one? Yes, I've done that one. And that can be... No, I need something to go on there, don't I? Okay. All right, okay. Well, I'll, I'll do these two now, because I can. I'm just checking now what I'm doing. Yes, that's right. And that's going... I've got three layers of lace, that there, and this, and then this piece here is going to go on there because I've cut something up. Look, I've, I've cut a piece up. That's why that's um, like that. And that's going down on there and that's going on there like so. But I need to... Um, I was going to sew these. Excuse me, stretch in a minute. There's cotton in front of me, so why don't I do that? Let me just make sure they're all connected. I hope you're all doing well. Quite a few of our um, ladies, I must say, are going through some difficult times so just remember them um it's been a hard month i must say for, for all of us really but it's been good I've had a busy month after moving in as well and uh settling in as best i can to do this collaboration and thank you all for your lovely comments on my um, craft room. You're so kind. I think this would be better if I, you know, if I've stitched it. I don't think I'm going to be able to stitch the flower on. I don't think so. I might have to trim that down a bit now because I've gone over... where the flower was going to go and then the flower can go on there like so but I'm not going to be able to I don't think I'm going to be able to there's a little bit of material there let's see if we can catch that underneath and maybe that might be enough just to hold the flower on doesn't matter what it looks like because you won't see it. The point here is we need to secure it, don't we? I'm wondering if I'm going to lose some of the light from my uh, from my craft craft room because they've just built a wall of their extension 
and we've got a tree right outside our, this window. So we're going to have to think about whether or not the tree needs to be trimmed right down. I mean, it's quite dark in here today anyway, because the weather's changed, but um, it's been beautiful all, all, uh, all, all June. It's been wonderful. Yeah, I think that's going to work, guys. There we are, that's on. And that will go down the side up there, which I shall glue on. I'm not sure which glue would be the best to use. But I can always get my glue gun out afterwards, after I've done the video. So they're all secured together now. So that's going to go on there like so. Now I have changed the lady, haven't I? So I need to bring that over a little bit because, yeah, I need to think about that now. I, I wish I'd put that more going that way because that was the way I intended it to go. That's too much over there now, it'll be over her face. All this is coming off this green here. Giving me problems. Right, so now if it was just a journal card, I could have just stapled that, couldn't I? But because it's now a pocket, I really need that to get that glued on. So we'll try this. If it doesn't work, I'll have to plug in my um, glue gun. I'm putting plenty on. So let's see what happens. Do you think that's going to stick? I think it is actually. So while that's sticking there, I'm going to put this bit on here. This is our glitter glue, by the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. That's that one. So that's that one done. And that's a flippy floppy one. So that's number one done. So that will probably, I don't think I would put it in a pocket. It would go on a page probably. Okay, that one. So I think I would put that one on, on a page. So I'm going to stand that one up there a moment. Let's move over to this one. I'm going to have to glue these down, guys. Um, although no, maybe not. Let's just do the front, shall we? And then we see. So what I thought I would do here, I've thought this lovely gold. Now there's a right and a wrong side to this. That's it. That's the right side. And then I've got some more of that lovely trim to go on the top. So let's put plenty of glue on here. I don't know why this um, this one is. It doesn't come out as fast as I notice. Some of you other ladies have got the same bottle and the same tip, but mine's not coming out very fast. It just comes out with this very thin drizzle. That's sticking nicely. I think I'll put it on here now. Let me move up in case I'm not on screen. I'm sorry I'm not very chatty today, but it's been a long day and I've been making up things for the shop for the retreat and I probably worn myself out. But I had to do this today because it's Friday. And normally I would have done this a week in advance, but I just haven't had a minute. There are lots of things going on here and I don't think that's going to stick. But you're getting the general idea, aren't you? Now that's come off and I was going to put, put that, I was going to dangle that on there, but I think they need stitching back on. So, but I'm just going to show you what the idea was. Very simple. You don't have to go over the top, but that little bling will brighten that up. So I'm going to leave that there like that and maybe come back to that one. Let's do this one next. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat again. 
We have a drink. Now I think I better stitch this one. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Let me just find. I don't know why we get so nervous doing the uh, collaborations, but it, it is quite nerve wracking because, um, you know, you're doing it for somebody else. That's what I'm trying to say. You're not doing it for yourself. So I'm going to stitch that together like so. I'm trying to go in the white bits so you can't see the stitches especially. But it doesn't matter, does it? It all adds to it. I'm going to go back. Where am I going to put the... Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So that's going on there, but I want this to be stitched on. So let's let's decide now whether it's going to go upwards or across. I think it's going to go like that. So I need to go back down. I'm glad I thought of that then. Oops, sorry. Fumbling crafters back. Right. Let's see if we can do this now. Keep it on. Because with the metal, you, you really need to be... You need to make it sure it's secure because of the, the weight of the metal. On the butterfly, I mean. That's all we need. There we are, that's done. And then that will go on there like that. I just thought we'd make some pretties to go in our journals. It's not going to go there, but I think that'll be all right. Once it's glued down, it'll be fine. Put that back on my thingy. There we are. So that, that's how I wanted it to go, like that. That's it, like that. So plenty of glue. I don't think I've been squeezing this hard enough. That's what it is. And I think with the hot weather, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, the hot weather, I think it's got a little bit. I don't know, thick, I think. There, that's, that's stay down nicely. This is she lovely. There we are, that's better. So that's that one. Sorry about the state of my mat, but I've been, um, I think I've done that one, I've done that one. Now let's do this one. I better put the top the needle back in, hadn't I? I think that's probably what it is. While I'm fumbling. <clears throat> now I'm gonna remember what I was doing. I think I was putting that down there. So let's get that on there. Such a pretty kit, isn't it? I've had so much joy playing with this. Now I'm just wondering because th this is um, what did I get this off? No, I bought these. I think I, I think because I've got a few of these and I've got bigger ones, but they're too heavy. They're really too heavy. But I did think this would be nice on there. I'm going to have to stitch it, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, let me get my cotton. Excuse me a moment. Here it is. This is a bit stronger, so. I don't know what cotton this is, but it's really strong. And I think I'm going to need it with this anyway. Oops, sorry. Uh, needle, here it is. I don't know whether this is going to be... Oh, here we go. Picking up the needle now I am. There we go. Right. First time, lovely. 
Because it's so thick, I think I only need one strand. But it'll be nice and strong on this. So let me just get these together a second. And then we can decide then where we're going to put it. I will have done my, um, I'm doing a workshop for Rachel and for the ladies, apparently. Rachel asked me to do a slow stitch workshop. So I'll tell you all about it when we come back. And hopefully we've taken lots of photographs and um, videos for you to see of the retreat. That'll be fun. Of course, we've got to get permission from everybody first. So, you know, we may or may not. It depends. Um, some people might not like having their faces on camera. You know, I mean, Rachel's terrible. She won't, she won't, uh, she, you won't see Rachel probably. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I'm not bothered. Right, I think that'll work. I don't think we need to uh, anchor it anywhere else. It seems quite sturdy on there, actually. It's fiddly, but it's it's pretty. Just trying to get in now to do a knot. There we go. I'm really, really looking forward to the retreat and um, meeting everybody because that's part of it, isn't it? So that's going on there. Now, I know it's lumpy. Probably is too lumpy, actually, but it's boho, isn't it? So I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. And hopefully this will stay on. That's working better now, actually, to me saying what I said. Oh, isn't that cute? I know it's lumpy. But it's absolutely beautiful. Look, what do you think? That's on. There we are. That's on. It's staying on. Might need a little bit under there, I think. Yep. Yeah. Because that's got to support that, hasn't it? I'm glad I've sewn it on. There's no way that would have glued on. It's too heavy. I'm just wondering whether or not to do the same on that one now. I might do that afterwards. Anyway, let's crack on. I've bent my needle now. My pin. Right, those three are done. Wait, you see the last one I'm doing. It's really boho, believe me. I've got to remember how I was doing this now. Um, I think that was going there. That was going there. Where's my glue? There it is. I really would have liked to have um, painted, but I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do in a moment. I'll have to put plenty of glue down here now because this is quite big. And that's going to hang off. It doesn't matter because I'll be sticking these down onto the onto the page, so that's okay. Not a problem. These are lovely, aren't they? And if it doesn't stay on, I shall use my glue gun and get them to stay down properly. That says eclectic. And these are pretty eclectic. Isn't that lovely? These girls are absolutely stunning, aren't they? They could have been models. <clears throat> Probably were in their day. Now, this one, I'm not sure how I came by these, but they were in um, a box full of buttons that I had, which I have now put in my cupboard. Okay. Oh, there's those other ones. That's right. Let me just show you these. But look, look how big they are and heavy they are. And I didn't think they were going to be that heavy. I bought those to go in the middle of those flowers I was making before. But there we go. There's three on that one. How sweet is that? I didn't see that one. But that's where I found these beads in there. 
because I bought different sets of buttons and um, these were in, in the buttons. That's right, I was putting that there to balance, to make the triangle. I don't want, hang on, I've got to think about that now. I don't want that going into a face, do I? So there we are. Isn't that sweet? And because this is just paper here, I can glue that down there. And that should stay on. But as I say, if it doesn't, I can glue it all on with my glue gun if I'm going to have any problems. So that went on there, a treat, because... There was a little, I don't know whether you can see it, 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 they're like little baubles of the Christmas tree. But isn't that sweet? So that's that one. So that's number four. That's right, isn't it? Number four. And can't get that back in. Now this one was supposed to have gone somewhere. Where was this going? adventure i don't think any of these are suitable i think i must have put that up there but that one's done and i just got to put something on the top of that that's glued down nicely so that's those i've got to decide about that because that's coming off so i need something else to go on that one we'll have a look at that in a moment something's just caught my eye in my little tin now this is my really boho one and I've done that one ready. They're pinned on ready. Okay. So all I've done there, I've got some gold, which is off this trim here. I've got masses of this. Hang on a sec, it's caught in my cake stand. Huh. I've got loads of this. So that's out in my cake stand by there. And I've just taken a little bit and I've got, it's like a Celtic... Um, symbol that but i'm not quite sure what it means but maybe you know i don't know but that's going on there all right but let's glue this in let's see if we can do this now without making a mess of it because i haven't glued anything in yet so I'm, i've got to make sure i do the top part yeah and then We'll do something else because I can't leave it alone, can I? Now I'm doing the right side now, aren't I? You are watching and telling me I'm doing it the right way. I hope I am. I'm just thinking I'll put some down here, I think. No, I'm going to do it that way. That seemed to work, didn't it? Now, I was trying to decide how much hair I wanted and how much of her jewellery I wanted. I think that's about right. So that's glued on. And I didn't do it straight, did I? So let me take it off. So anything when you're working backwards yeah i'm gonna have to you must be laughing at me guys honestly but i've had a heck of a day and i've had to do it today and i i do apologize now i need it to be straight so i need it over there that's it. Let's, let's see if that's in now. That's as near as I'm going to get it, I think. Yeah, that's fine. And it'll all be sealed anyway, but this is the main bit here where you're going to be putting, you know, you're putting your tag in. So I'll just get the glue off my fingers. Now, I'll just see if I can get a little bit under there. Seal that down. And then that's got to be sealed. <clears throat> this is funny um, cardstock because it's, it's, it's almost like vinyl, but it, it isn't. I don't think it is. It's 
some sort of coating on there, you know. Now, let's get this right. I think what I've done, I've probably gone over the edge. Yes, I have. That's not going to work, is it? Okay, guys. This is real time now, so you have seeing how I fix things when I make mistakes, which I do quite often, I'm afraid. There we are. More glue on here now because it's drying. Yay! We did it. Now, where I um, I put some, what's it called? I'm trying to remember what it's called. What's this called? <clears throat> some of this I put on the die cut. And when I took it off, it took a little bit of the paper off with it. But I'm not going to worry about it because it's going to be glued onto the page anyway. So that's not a problem. But I've just put some ink over that. So there we are. Now, this is going on here. But I don't know whether you can see, but there's like little um, sequins. But they're like clear sequins. So you have to make sure you put them on the right the right way. Because it's like um, plastic. Right. I don't think there's a right or a wrong way of putting that on. I don't think there is anyway. Plenty of glue on there. Now, I don't know whether this is going to actually glue on there. I don't know whether to put on, you know, on the edge there or in the middle. What would you do? Maybe, maybe like that so it's not straight. And then that's going up here. All right. Now, this is plastic, so I don't know whether this glue is going to hold it. So I'm going to put plenty on. And no machine stitching today, guys. There we are. Let's just put it on like that and see what happens. I'm not sure whether this is going to hold it or not. Sometimes the art glitter glue will. But as I say, I'm not going to worry because I'll, um, I should have plugged it in really. <clears throat> now, how was I going to do that? Like that? Is that going to hold it, do you think? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I like that. I'm not sure whether that is going to hold it, actually. But you're getting the gist of it, aren't you? And the thing is, that's how it's going to look when I get my glue gun out, which I should have done at the beginning, I'm sorry. But I was afraid I was going to burn myself because I'm so tired. So, how can we finish this one off? Now, this is what caught my eye. I thought perhaps we could put that up there. And maybe, what have I got in here? There's another one of these. Isn't that cute? 
or what have I got? I didn't get any pink buttons out. Because originally I was going to do this and, and put them on there like that. But then I found these flowers then, which I think look much better. But I think, I don't think I'm going to use that. I think I'm just going to put that on there, possibly with a nice button. Um, I've got these lovely little buttons here that I bought recently. So uh, I didn't have any pink ones. She didn't have any pink ones. They're too big, but it, it would go actually, but it's, they're too big, aren't they? What about that colour with that? No. I was thinking more of the... Um, look how she's bunched them together, the lady in the, uh, the shop. Isn't that a good idea? Never thought of doing that. I think that's too big anyway. It's too dark. Could have put a blue one on there. Oh, that's the ones I'm looking for. Now I'm going to have to cut these and they're going to go everywhere. Oh, there we go. Here it is. Now, after all that, they're sort of, if you can see how thick they are, I think that's going to be too thick on there, to tell you the truth. So that's no good. Um, that, that would be lovely on there, actually. What about, what about that one there? I'm going to have to cut these eventually anyway, aren't I? Aren't I, I should say. It was a clever idea, but they were able to get off. Now that's not going to work. Oh, it did. There we go. But that's a raised one, but that is quite nice, actually. There we are. That is quite nice. I like that. Um, I've got these tiny ones as well. Look, look how cute these are. Aren't they unusual? That's just a little bit too big there. Oops. They're too big as well. But they're really unusual. And if that had been in a gold colour, that would have been just the job. Um, I've got my other buttons here. I don't think there's anything in there I can use. No. <clears throat> I have got this. But it'd be a case of either using that. No, that's too similar to that, isn't it? No, we need a bit of bling. That's what we need, a little bit of bling. Um, that's too much, isn't it? It's too small for that to be like that. So, which is a shame, really, because I really wanted to use these but they keep falling off see they're coming off look they're ever so tiny and they're all over my floor that's the way so i'm just going to glue that on for oh i was going to try that one wasn't i do you think that's too much should we just have the bling i can always um, put a button on again just to finish this video I think I've uh, blocked it up now. There it is. Let's try that now. Yeah, it's getting really cloggy, this. There we are, that's better. I'm not strong enough, that's the problem. Which way shall I have it? That way? Yes, I think so. There. Sorted. Trying to get my needle back in. My pin. There we are. 
Okay, so there we go then. What have we done? Have we finished? Or, or I was going to show you. Um, I don't know what I did with a piece of paper now that I was practicing with. But I can show you on here, I think. Uh, perhaps not. Maybe on this. And I was going to do some some flowers because I think it was G. Kurt. She was doing these beautiful flowers like this with these pens. And they're like chalk. And I was wondering whether to go around. Look, it is, it's like chalk. But to be honest, I don't think we need it. But I wanted to show you that. But if, if you wanted to get one of these, go along, go over and see G. Kerr and his Uni Posca. And it's a white uh, pencil. Pencil, it says there. But And when, when you get it, shake it. And you have to go up and down, up and down until till the um, whatever it is, paint or whatever it is, comes down. Because I thought, oh, it's not working. And then I, I had to go up and down, up and down because the thing moves inside the point and then it worked. So there we are. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to show you my, um, I knew I had another one it's over there hiding from me. So I'll just show you these, what I've done. So that's this one with the bling. I'm going to stand up so I know you're, you're in camera. So that's that one. All right. And that's the back. That one, that's the first one I think we did. And that flips up, so that's pretty. And then we got that one there with a little butterfly on. And then that'll go over the page or it can go inside something. And this one has actually glued. I'm pleased about that, isn't she lovely? She's absolutely lovely. So that's that one. And that one does flop about as well. And this one's got a little bauble on it as well. So there we go. And this is the last one I've just finished. So that was just a little bit of ephemera that um, I thought would be nice to go in our journals. And I've made these, as I say, I've made these myself. I haven't used a pattern or anything. Or These were out of Rachel's kit, obviously. And I was just going to quickly show you my finished journal which is here looking at me and here she is my bundle of joy and she's been a real pleasure to work on so i'll just quickly go through and show you a couple of pages i won't go through it all isn't that lovely they're all absolutely beautiful there we are what's that just quickly show you some of the effect I've got I've got to make tags to go in there so she's not completely finished yet you think you finish and then you open her back up and you find something that you've missed but she's been an absolute joy to work on so when I come back off the retreat I'll finish her hop, finish her off and then she will go in my um coffee coffee shop so I've got some little there's an elephant and a feather on there and that's that and I think you've seen most of the other things this one I love this page and that one has got a tag in and that one I love as well and this is one that um, Rachel did and I adapted it I, I did it totally differently so you can still use that as pockets as well and you can even stick things up in there if you want to. But I put it on with a paper clip. So um, it, it does, you can remove it. Okay, so there's a couple of charms on there as well. But isn't she sweet? I've really, do you know, I never thought I would make a, a, um, a boho. I found them a little bit daunting, like everyone else has said. So isn't that gorgeous? So there we are. There she is. And I put that lovely lady on there, the one we just used. 
and that. And I just thought you'd like to, oh, I was going to put that on there or on there. So I, I'm obviously still working on this. I, I, it was so hot, I had to stop work um, because I was feeling quite a little bit strange. So that's that. And anyway, you're getting to see the gist of it now because I, I won't be making another video now over the weekend. So that's, that's how, how she is. I'm really pleased with her anyway. That's a flip out. That's one of the flowers I made. That's something I made a while ago. Tag, a tab, not a tag. And there we are. And this is the one that Natalie made, which was fabulous. Seems to be working better now, actually, because I had a bit of trouble making it go round, but it's working really well now. Oh, I'm pleased with that. So there we are. Doesn't that look nice in there? She did a brilliant uh, video. That really got me going, that did. Well, they all did, really, but I just didn't have the time to, to do them all. But doesn't that look nice there? So I'm going to leave it there now, guys. And all my pretties are here. And I'll find places for these to go. I'm um, not sure where, but um, they will look nice in here, won't they? And the other ones I was thinking I might put in this journal if they'll go. Let me just move that over there. So I'm not sure whether I've got room. But this I thought was quite retro. Um, and I thought that might go in this journal. Uh, especially, let me get the big one. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Now that brought it to life, hasn't it? And possibly this one at the back, maybe, if I can turn it over. And then that one will go there. And there's places then for, for another tag to go in there. So I hope you like him. And that will show you better on there. Let's find another page. Oh, I was going to do some, I found these. And I was going to do some, you know, thingies on the end of the pages there like I've done here but on the postcards I'll show you that again I won't show you now because I've been a long time so thank you for watching and that's where that's going to go and these are going to go in this journal over here because they belong with this one so there's that there's all this lovely boho boho -ness. and I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that's taken part in the collaboration because I think you've all done a marvellous job and um, I can't wait for the next collaboration. So take care, everybody. Love to you all and God bless you all. And I shall speak to you soon. Bye for now.